thank God you've come. This is the end of the Almeida Music Corporation. Conrad Verdi is going into the army. And your faithful secretary is hereby submitting her resignation. Huh? I just dropped in to say goodbye, Albert, darling. Lots of luck. Rosie, you can't. Not today of all days. Conrad Verdi is going into the army. I've quit. There's nothing you can do but give up the business, go back to college, and- Rosie, I'm up to my ears in debt. Conrad's got a $50,000 guarantee, which I can't pay. And I've just taken a severe overdose of aspirin. Rosie, I'll make a deal with you. Stay with me. Help me get the money to pay Conrad's guarantee, and as soon as I'm out of the red, I'll dissolve the company and go back to the academic life. Albert, you're off. I'm sure it may take a few years, but I'm sure that by 1973 or 74, at the latest, but... What's this? Something that'll push that in the state up a few years. Pick a name. Pick what name? Kim McAfee, Albert, is what's going to send you back to college with the biggest hit song this business has ever seen. It's called One Last Kiss. I never heard of it. You haven't written it yet, but when you do, and when that one last kiss is from Conrad Murray, on his way into the big, cold army for two long years, and when he gives that kiss to one of his fans, chosen at random, from 1,200,000 hysterical teenagers, it'll make Mr. Murray the hottest soldier since Joan of Arc. Rose, I'm beginning to see it. We cut the record here in New York. Take that greasy bongo playing car thief to Sweet Apple. Let him kiss the kid. And release the record. <laughs> Albert, you'll have enough money to go back to college for the rest of your life. Mary, can you get me Sweet Apple? Every phone in Sweet Apple can't be busy. What's going on there? Kim McAfee, what do you mean you're resigning from the fan club? Just because if Hugo Peabody gave you his pin doesn't mean you have to retire from all social life. Going steady is very important, but there are some things more important than very important, and the Conrad Verdi fan club is one of them. I mean, after all, where else can we girls gather together and worship that wonderful creature? I mean, do you realize what you'd be giving up, Kim? I'm 15 years old. It's time I've settled down. Conrad Verdi is coming here. To kiss me, Doris, mother, mommy! Baby, baby, what is it? What's wrong? It's Conrad Birdie, mommy. He's going to kiss me. Oh, that's a nice dear. Now you just put your hands. You don't understand. Conrad Birdie is coming here to Sweet Apple to kiss me. Goodbye. Oh, mommy, mommy! I never thought I'd say it, but God bless Conrad Birdie. Right now? I mean, couldn't it wait? I'm in an awful hurry. I don't think so, Kim. It's important. You go, Peabody. What's so important you talk to Kim right now? What's so important? I'll tell you what's so important. The day after I give her my pin, she goes around kissing someone else, and that's what's so important. I want you to know that I'm quite upset about this. I've already had several headaches, and it goes. I never ask for much from my children. Just respect. A little respect, that's all I asked for. Respect. But did I get respect? I did not get respect. I got no respect. Get out of my way, Albert. I'm going out of the town tonight and I don't want to waste another minute. Rosie! Rosie, come back! Do you hear me? This is King Kong calling! Rosie! Rosie, I... I need you! Rosie! Please come back. Rosie. Sunny boy, where are you going? Nowhere, Mama. Just out. It's stuffy here, so I thought I'd... To find Rosie, Mama. I love her and I want her back. Don't you understand, Mama? That poor girl's gone out to make up for all the years she's wasted on me. Maybe I better give you that message from Conrad first. What message? <laughs>